Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at trading bots on crypto.com. Now, if you've never used a trading bot before, it can seem a little bit confusing, a little bit intimidating at times to set a trading bot up. But honestly, it's really, really straightforward, especially with crypto.com, because you've got these one touch buttons where you can basically just set up a trading bot for given currency pairs. Now, if you don't know what a currency pair is, it's basically the two uh, cryptocurrencies. So, for example, you might see BTC slash USD, and that's basically a trading pair. So what it is, is, is the BTC or the Bitcoin is the base currency, and the USD, the USD or USDC is the quote currency. And, and all you're doing is you're using the quote currency, USD, to buy BTC. So what you're saying is I've got $100 of US dollars, and I want to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. So that's a crypto trading pair, base currency and quote currency. Okay, so what I'm going to do on here is I'm going to use um, the CRO USD base currency. So I'm going to be buying CRO with USD. So I'm going to be trading basically um, or using the trading bot to buy and sell CRO using USDC. This will all become clearer as we uh, get through the tutorial. Now, if you've never set up a trading bot before, like I say, it can be quite intimidating, but crypto.com have made things really easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to do everything here on the crypto.com website or the exchange website. You can do this on the app, but I find things much easier on the website. Just the screen's obviously bigger. Um, it just makes things a lot easier, especially with my failing eyesight now now that i'm getting you know ridiculously old and all that um so what i'm going to do is come on over to the crypto.com website so this is the crypto.com website it offers tons and tons of different products as we can see on the top here we've got nfts we've got prices of cryptocurrency we've got products company etc a button to download the app so if you don't already have the crypto.com app you can use this link to download the app um, but what we're going to click on is products and then we're going to come down to exchange here and like i say this is all available in the crypto.com exchange app but things are much easier here now if you don't understand the difference between crypto.com the crypto.com exchange and the crypto.com DeFi wallet then you can click the link above and I've got I've got a little video there where I talk about the the, the differences between the three apps um, but basically in a nutshell the crypto.com app is what most people use to buy and sell cryptocurrency but there are, they, there are quite hefty fees that's also used to stake for the crypto.com visa card then we've got the crypto.com exchange which is what we're using today um, and that's where people tend to buy and sell cryptocurrency because the fees are much, much lower. And also you can use the trading bots here on the exchange. And then we've got the DeFi wallet, which is where people will buy and sell cryptocurrency. But again, the fees are slightly higher. Most people use that for the DeFi apps such as VVS, Finance, Tectonic, Beefy Finance, all those kind of things. But we're looking at the crypto.com exchange. So first thing we need to do is log in. Now we will use the same credentials as our crypto.com app. To make things much easier, we can just scan this QR code here. So if I open up my uh, crypto.com app here, now all we need to do is go to the top left here where we've got three little lines and we click on that and we come down to settings. And then in the top right here next to my name, we've got this little button, we press on that and then it opens our camera and we can scan this QR code and then this basically says are you trying to sign in on the computer and we just authorize that and that will authorize us to log in here on the PC and like I say I find it much much easier to use the uh, PC screen than I do to use the the app um, it's just bigger now, the first thing we see when we log in is this dashboard with our, um, it's got a number of different windows. We've got the trend, uh, trading, trending currency pairs. We've got our accounts overview. We've got our portfolio and we've got spot trading down here. What we want to do is come to wallet here. And the first thing people say is that 
they can't see any of their money they've got money on the crypto.com app but they can't see it here and that's because like i said it's it's a totally separate wallet this is the exchange wallet the wallet on your crypto.com app is the crypto.com wallet so the first thing we need to do is get some money onto our exchange wallet now we can do that in a couple of different ways so if we click on deposit here on usd usd usdc you can see that you can deposit via fiat which is with a credit card or bank transfer um but that's not yet available here in the uk or we can use cryptocurrency so basically we can send cryptocurrency from an external wallet whether that's metamask or binance or you know whatever any other platform or we can send it from crypto.com our crypto.com app so i'm going to use that if i click on that usd there it basically we've got this copy wallet so we can copy the address um and send it say from from metamask if we've got the crypto.com app open we can basically come to our accounts here on the crypto.com app and we can go to our usd coin for example which is what i'm going to use and i'll click on transfer click on withdraw and then you can i can withdraw it to any of these um different places i'm going to click on crypto.com exchange how much do i want to send i want to send all of it which is hundred dollars and then basically click deposit and then confirm then that should send that 100 dollars from my crypto.com app to the exchange so it says you transferred one hundred dollars so let me just come back over here to the exchange and as you can see on the screen there i've got one hundred dollars usd so that's the first part is to get some funds from either our crypto.com app or from metamask or from another external source maybe fiat if that that feature is available in your country uh, and get money onto the platform Okay, so what I didn't realize when I transferred over my $100 is that I need a minimum of $204 in order to set up this bot. So I've transferred some more dollars over, so I've got enough now, I've got $251.88. So if I just come over here and click on bots, and then go down to grid bot, this is where we can create the bot. So I click on create a grid bot here on the right. Now this automatically opens up into the auto tab, so this will set all the parameters for the bot for us. The advanced tab allows you to set those parameters yourself um, i'm not going to use that because you know i don't really see the point if you're using a bot you might as well use the suggested or recommended settings based on data that crypto.com or the, the bots and, the, and the, the algorithm has basically gathered over the last week and predicted for the next week so i'm going to stick with the auto settings but you can come into this advanced tab here and uh, you know set your own parameters so if I just scroll down to CRO USD here uh, where are we CRO USD it's got a current market price of 0 0.09292 so this is the starting point of our bot then we've got our parameters here that we can set we can choose a mode of arithmetic or geometric this is just arithmetic is basically a dollar amount um interval between each grid whereas geometric is a percentage amount um, i'm not going to touch this but you can click on this little eye here if you want further information and tips about what the parameters are um, but i'm not going to touch this lower price and upper price so that's the lower price the lowest price below the current market price that we want our bot to go to before it stops trading or stops buying and the upper price is basically the upper um, limit where our bot will stop selling if we click on fill with auto parameters here that will automatically populate these based on historical data and price predictions of where crypto.com think the price of the CRO token will go over the next week um, so a low of 0 0.068 and a high of 0 0.112 which I hope it does get to 11 cents um, sometime next week grid number so basically this is a number of grids between your um, lower price and your higher price the the greater number of grids the smaller the trade or the more frequently we trade but the smaller the profit and the lower number of grids the less frequently it will trade but the higher the profit 
So just bear that in mind um, if you are doing this manually. And then down here, we've got the total investment amount. So this is how much we want to spend in total. But I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use this auto bot feature, which in my opinion is probably the best way if you're new to this. Um, you know, I'm, I'm no expert when it comes to trading or trading bots. You know, all of this is, is kind of a learning curve for me as well. So I'm just going to use the auto feature, which in my experience I've found to be the best way to do things anyway. Um, so I'm going to choose CRO here as my um, currency, what I want to buy, and I'm gonna use USD to buy it with. So I'm gonna choose the whole lot, $251.88. We can see the parameters below. We've got the mode of arithmetic, which I'm just gonna leave. Well, we haven't really got a, a choice to change it there, but that's what it's set to, arithmetic. We've got a lower price of 0 0.06823, which is what crypto.com predicts will be the lowest possible price for the CRO token over the next week. And we've got an upper price of 0 0.11216. Hopefully it will get to that. Um, and then we've got a grid number of 25. So that will basically, between the lower price and the upper price, it will split it evenly into 25 grid lines, um, obviously below and above the current market price. Each time, the price hits one of those grid lines below the current market price, the bot will make a purchase. It will buy some CRO using our um, USD. Each time the price goes above the current market price and hits one of those grid lines, it will sell. So that's the whole point is we buy low, we sell high, which is obviously the whole um, ethos when it comes to trading. And this is what the bot will do for us automatically. Now, the more grid lines we have, the more frequently the trades will occur and the less grid lines we have, the less frequently the grid lines will occur. If you've got more grid lines, then the profit or the margin between each trade will be less than if you've got a lower number of grid lines you know if you've got only five grid lines then the profit on each trade will be much higher but it will take much longer probably for the price to hit one of those grid lines because the price will have to swing quite low or quite high in order for those trades to take place so you need to get this fine balance of you know the number of grids um that you put into your trading bot. So I'm just gonna stick with 25, which is what crypto.com recommends here for this bot. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna click on proceed. And then we've got a confirmation here. Our trading pair is Crow CRO USD. Mode is arithmetic, lower price 0 0.06, upper price 0 0.11, grid number 25, potential return per grid is 0.3% and 1.68%, and we've got a total investment of $251. We need to give our bot a name, so I'm just going to call it SK Grid. It needs to be um, 4 to 15 characters long, and then we need to check this, I've read and agree, and then click confirm. And there we go, that is our trading bot already set up so this is our current trading bot and as we can see it's automatically got a total PL of less $49.96 USD and that's basically because it's made a trade already it's purchased some CRO for me because we need to have a starting point we need to purchase some CRO to start our bot running um, so this is all we need to do for now I'm just going to leave this running and then we'll come back to this in a few days a week from now maybe and see where we're at obviously i'm going to be monitoring this on a daily basis and if the price of you know cro does get to 11 cents then i might consider closing off the bot and you know taking profit if it's worth taking but we'll see what happens over the next few days so quick update guys it's now been about 11 hours since i started that trading bot and i was just about to publish and upload this video to youtube when i thought you know what before i do i'll check on the status of the bot um so i created that bot at midnight last night it's now 11 a.m the following morning yes i am wearing the same clothes 
not because I slept in them, but because I wanted to keep the continuity in the video, or maybe I did sleep in them. Um, but in any case, I wanted to share with you what's currently happening with the bot. So I'm pleased to say that I'm in profit, which is great. Um, I'll take you on over to the exchange now on the PC so we can see exactly what's happened. Um, let me just switch my screen here. So this is the bot I set up, the SK Grid, last night. You can see I set it up 11 hours and 15 minutes ago. I invested $251.88 and I've currently got a profit of $2.56, which is a 1.01% profit, which I'm pretty happy with. You know, $2.56 profit in 11 hours is not bad if that's indicative of what's to come in the future then i'll be pretty happy with that now obviously if, I've, if i'd have invested 10 times the amount or 100 times the amount or even a thousand times the amount then those profits would be much much higher and i think this is how people make a lot of money trading whether that's trading manually or using bots obviously the more money you put in um the more profits you will you will get but obviously that risk of losing much more money is also there as well. So you've got to be really careful about how much you invest. Um, and also with these bots, like we talked about earlier, if you make those grids, um, you know, you have smaller grids, then the, the, the amount you trade in will be much higher. So the profits will also be higher. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that at the moment. The other thing I wanted to show you was the mobile app. Now, this is the exchange app. I wouldn't necessarily use this to create my bots um, but I will be using it for monitoring the bots um, I just think this it's too small the screen really for setting up things you know when you when you're investing money I, I'd, I'd rather be able to see things clearly um, but you, you know you might find it easy to do so what we do is once we're in the app we click on our initials top left here and then we can see in the menu trading bots we click on that we click on my bots on the top and there we can see my bot Currently says I've got two dollars and seventy-eight seventy-two cents profit here, which is slightly different than the PC screen, and that's just because I've not refreshed that screen for a few minutes now. Um, but yeah, this is great. We can see what's going on with our bots, and obviously we can stop and start the bots here as well if we want to take the profits. Um, but this is just a really convenient way of monitoring it. Um, like I say, you can set up your bots here as well if you want. Um, it's just not the way I would do things. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, then as always, please click that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Already, already. Come and join us over on Discord. I'll leave the link down below. We've got a great set of guys over there who talk about all sorts of different cryptocurrency projects and investing projects, DeFi, that kind of stuff. So, you know, it'd be great to have you guys over there to help share the knowledge. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you again in the next video. And also I'll probably do a little update video on this um, trading bot if that's something you guys want to see. Maybe in a week or so I might do a short or I might do another um, you know, full length video. But leave, leave the comments down below. Let me know what you want to see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.